guys. Today I'm going to kind of talk about why people think you can only do one thing with your life and why I want to pursue film and art and I'm not going to let nobody stop me. What's up? So today we're doing that gigantic painting that I was just doing. Now here's a series of me getting out everything I probably won't use on <laughs> the first day of this painting. But you know, I was just so excited. I had to get literally everything I could think about. I was just like, oh my gosh, I have this new drawer. <laughs> I have all these things. I'm so excited. And here's these oil paints. I got these two new ones. I got this purple one and this green one. Look at that. <laughs> They're so fun. I'm so excited about them. When I was in college, I was taking this animation class and our professor told us that we had to do this assignment where we had to make a website and on that website we had to choose one specialty that we wanted to pick for the rest of our lives. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was so daunting. He told us that we couldn't choose multiple because multiple looked bad on resumes and no one's gonna hire someone who's specialized in multiple things because then you're not really, really specialized in that one thing. This absolutely terrified me. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? I uh, literally have so many passions. I don't know what to do with them all. So I did what I thought I had to do and I chose I said, okay, I'm gonna just do AC work. Now AC work is a really technical job. It's assistant cameraman. It basically, you build the camera, you problem solve different rigs, and it's a very left-sided brain job. And I am a little bit of both. I love problem solving, but I also love, I guess problem solving kind of has the right side of the brain in it, but I love like just making art and doing whatever I feel like doing and 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 working from my heart, you know? So it was a really hard decision to make, but I did end up doing that. But obviously I didn't stick with it. Look at this, oh my gosh. <laughs> I love a good underpainting. They're just so much fun. Ugh. Now this is day two. It's my prep. It took me about three days to make that digital portlet. Portlet? Oh my gosh. To make that digital procreate design. <laughs> I don't know what a portlet is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Portable? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, it was very, it, it made it a lot easier to like get the proportions right though on the painting because I could like go back down to like my pencil sketch of my outline of her and go with exactly what shape was going where and it was very easy to kind of map out her face which was nice now when I was in college and I was determined to be just an AC. I think there was something inside me that felt like I wasn't giving attention to it. Now that I look back on it, I can I can tell that it was this desire to create. I've always had it. I've always had this giant big piece in my heart that says, "Okay, let's create." And even since I was little, when I was like super little, I would like make up stories for this little puppet house that I had. <laughs> and then like when I got older, I started to do music and I loved that. And then there was also this time where I was into acting <laughs> and I wanted to be on Broadway. <laughs> that was in high school. 
And then I went to college and I got into film and I loved film. But I really wanted to direct and I wasn't brave enough to say it. So I was stuck thinking I needed to just focus on being an AC and nothing else. Okay, so day two technically of painting. I did the background um, the other day. The video cut out, so I apologize. But you kind of get to see the finished product of it. Um, but this is kind of the design that I've had. Um, I created based on the background. I took a picture of the background and then... Hold on. There we go. And then I... Uh, sketch this out. So this is like the idea that we're going for. I might work on it a little bit more. If I do, I will do a time lapse for you. And if I don't, then I will see you the next day. So as you can tell in um, the time lapses, <laughs> I literally worked so hard on that face for so long and then literally decided to glaze over the top of it while there was still wet paint and kind of ruined it. And I was really upset. Um, but then I realized I'm literally going to be doing most of the details on the face in the oil painting, so I really don't need to care about that right now. Like, really, the focus of the acrylics and the inks and all of the underpainting is to get the feel and the vibe of the painting that you want, right? And so, I'm gonna turn this around. I really feel like I've now captured that, you know, like all the colors and all the little drips of paint and like. It's now actually starting to feel like what I want it to feel like. Obviously, it's not polished and obviously it's not perfect, but I'm really happy where we're at. Wait, I need to do a time lapse. We're fixing her today. As you know, when things are decided, nothing is final. <laughs> Whether that's an art project or a decision to be in the film industry forever, <laughs> you can always change your mind. You can always build upon what you have. You can decide to do something different you can decide to do something you've never thought of doing before. Honestly, it's true. The only one stopping you is you. That's what this day was all about. This is day three. <laughs> and it was literally, it took my painting from absolute trash to <laughs> so good. I'm just so much fun. This is what I knew. Okay, this painting is totally gonna work out.
why when I started painting, I made my motto, every mistake is the foundation of something beautiful. Or something like that. <laughs> Today, we're doing oil painting. To top it all off, and to fix a lot of things, and add details, and to make it shine. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Now, when I got out of college, I did have a hard time coming to the realization of I can't do film full time because I had made it my identity that I had to be that. I had to do only that. But I forgot about my passion. I forgot about what I love. And so when I graduated college and I came to live with my parents, it took me about a year, but finally I decided to start this journey of making art, of making YouTube videos, of putting my work out there, whether that be film work, directing work, AC work, or painting. I wanna do it all. And I wanna be great at it all. I wanna have fun with it all. I want them all to kind of combine and let them all bleed into each other. They're all art, and I think there's so much beauty in all of them. I was talking to one of my new friends that I met on set the other day, and he was asking me how I thought art connected to filmmaking. And I thought, so easily. I think the only reason I know how to paint good highlights on faces is because I know how to light good highlights on faces. And the only reason I know how to tell good stories in film is because I know how to feel when it is a good story. I know what it feels like to write a good story. I know what it feels like to see a beautiful story. I, I know, I know art, I know beauty, I know those things. And they all blend together. So if anyone is telling you you cannot do more than one thing in your life, and you feel this bursting desire to do everything, forget about the algorithms, forget about what other people say, what do you want to do? And when you find that, go with everything you have. This is Billows of Bliss. I hope you enjoy as much as I do. <laughs>